to it. Just tighten it. I gave you taste of my love fact. I've been standing there for you. Can you saw all the work that I got? I could be holding back from you. Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. Welcome back to my birthday vlog. So currently we're on a mission. Um, so I just got my hair done. First of all, check it out. Check it out. I'm gonna put the salad's information below because she hey buddy. Anyways, so right now we're on a mission because we have to get my birthday brunch dress fitted. It is this beautiful Andrea Ayama dress. I'm gonna show y'all when I get it tailored, but I came to my tailor in the city. I've been going to him for like literally since I moved back. Um, he's done I think like eight or ten of my pieces he's amazing so i had to come straight to him because last year my brother was getting married he's the one that um adjusted the dresses and like tailored them perfectly to my body so you know when you find somebody who's good you gotta stick with them okay so we're back here checking him out um just trying to get this birthday dress together i'm a little bit annoyed because i paid a good coin for this dress and i thought it would fit fine but i would rather pay him one second I got cut off because I got, you know, he came and I got embarrassed. But anyways, I just want to show my dress because it's really beautiful. It's my Andrea Ayama. It's my dream dress, you guys. Like, if you know me, you know that I, this is just, like, everything to me. Um, I paid a pretty coin because I felt like I deserved it. I felt like I was going to slip my birthday one. I needed a nice dress. But I'm really sad because it doesn't fit in my waist. But I came to a great tailor, so I know he's going to get me right. But let me show you all the dress before. And I'm going to show you what it's like on my body. And then we'll do all the alterations and stuff so yeah let me just show you all the dress though it just doesn't fit right like said, so we're just gonna try it on real quick and then i'm gonna check in with y'all um when i try it on so yeah call y'all back but yeah so it was custom made but it was a size six and i i am a size six but i guess in the waist it's back. just it's just too big i can turn around too So we just have to just tighten it. Tighten it up. Yeah, bring like bring it, it down. down. Yeah. And then that's okay. Pull over here a little bit. Yeah. Pull up here a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Nothing too bad, right? I feel like last year was one, last yeah. year I bought you a dress that was totally like. Yeah. But you made it work, so. Mm -hmm. It's, I'm recording like so I can basically I record some of my like life and I post it. You're mm -hmm. not you're not in it, so you're no, 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 you don't matter on me. <laughs> yeah, I just record some things. So I'm having a birthday like celebration, so I'm recording like the process of it. So yeah. Now we have a range here made in Bavarian wood. Not Bavarian. We are here for supplying of the Harris. So um, what I will do, mm -hmm. because I, I can't bring it down here, right. I will stop up here. That's perfectly fine. Right, then yeah. you have that like almost like a pocket. Perfect, yeah, because I 
I just needed my waist to be tighter. I feel like I look big and I'm not big. I'm really actually really small. And I lost more weight recently, so I want that to be, you know, shown. I think this is not bad. Okay, not too bad, yeah. Probably pinch this back here. Okay. And this back here, take it from the back and leave that. Okay, that's that You sounds... see, because it, it come from way up yeah. and then come down. Yeah. You see, so I think I'll go from the, A couple. the back okay. here. Okay. Just yeah, I think that should be good. Okay. So this time, what are you going to do your birthday? So this time, I'm doing a birthday brunch with friends. Mm -hmm. It's about 20 of us. It's mm -hmm. like a venue space. I basically got caterers, vendors, all of that. There's going to be a bartender, a DJ. So I know we had the conversation last year about birthdays. But I didn't learn because this year I'm doing it even <laughs> worse than last year. <laughs> I can send you to a place where it's, it's called the Bucket Ivy. Yeah, it's right there. You told about that last year too. Right. I know. And then what you want to do, you look at the menu. Uh -huh. If you pull that menu right now, uh -huh. you're like, oh, wow. You see what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Stupid friends. I'm it's going to get a caviar for them. It's, well, they're she, not my friends are stupid no 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 i'm I know, just I know, making I know. you see what i'm I saying know, know. that that hates you it's, also yeah they will gossip you yeah but when you bring them to the bucket ivy just the building alone it look like castle yeah you guys got a beautiful pictures you see what i'm saying mm -hmm. and they will bring that beautiful food it's like 15 dollars mm -hmm. 18 dollars you see what i'm saying mm -hmm. so you cut that budget now you come with your birthday cake yeah why need this floating cake like a mountain no you don't i just need this cake Something simple mm -hmm. but it's just like oh my god mm -hmm. Can I touch it? Or mm -hmm. a cake, if you get seven or ten friends, mm -hmm. can share it with ten friends, mm -hmm. everybody sing. But don't mean it don't mean that you guys, ten of you gonna sing the happy birthday. Right. Forget it. It's not. Mm -hmm. Everybody in there gonna jump the out room. to yeah. sing. So you put the table, they will put the table outside so everybody come on time. Yeah. You call a waiter and say, Hey, um you don't come and say i'm doing my birthday so i get a party of 10. yeah leave the cake in the car yeah you see what i'm saying uh -huh. so now they're gonna be so want to sit outside there's uh -huh. a gazebo which is really nice you see what i'm saying uh -huh. they will set it up for you guys and the, the bucket ivy you uh -huh. look it up you see no i and the thing is i've looked it up you told me about it last right. time i looked it up see okay i wonder so it's a birthday brunch that i've wanted to do like since i was like a kid so i think after this mm -hmm. i'm just gonna travel honestly Planning events is not fun. It's not easy. That's, but my friends do show up for me. That's one well, thing. Well, that's good with yeah, that. You I, know, yeah. But my buddy, um, wanted, well, his daughter wanted to do a birthday. And this guy never have a birthday like that. So yeah. I'm like, you know what? Let's take the birthday. Yeah. Right. So she was like, well, what kind of food? I said, why do you want to know what kind of food? Look at the menu right there. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Cuban and so and so and so. This mm -hmm. and that chicken wings. Everybody mm -hmm. loves chicken wings. Everybody loves chicken wings. That's true. And this is a part. They get all the drinks that you want. Yeah. I just, I want, I, I, see, I know, I just, I like control. So for this event, I just wanted more control. I think maybe, still can control I know in the next years, I'll move on and I'll just go travel and be in a different country and then come back and I won't involve other people in my, in my birthday. Right. But I think this is with last, this is really basically the last year where I was just like, okay, I've had this idea. I'm just going to execute it one last time. And right. then I'm just going to, from now on, live my life. It, it, it put that stress down, but there is no way. Even downstairs here, mm -hmm. it will cost you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because this fish all go for five bucks. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to buy that for five dollars. I know fish that's right. For nobody. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But put, put that chip your clothes and you come back and look at the bucket and you see their menu. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. There is no way you're not going to end the building. The, the ambience and everything is like whoa mm -hmm. then you can go to the, the gazebo out there you guys take pictures and you go upstairs mm -hmm. there is no roof they mm -hmm. took the roof out but the bar is there mm -hmm. and you guys can dance till you're crazy yeah my nails have been done by my nail tech that i'm going to since i was in college like sophomore year when they first opened so i know exactly who to go to to get me ready for my birthday y'all i don't know about y'all but i love birthdays i'm so excited to celebrate mine because i deserve it 
you know what I'm saying? I deserve it and I claim this is gonna be the best year of my entire life. I claim that now, okay? The work that I put in at the towards like the last six months of this year have set me up so that this year, 2024, my 27th year of life is going to be the best year of my entire life. I'm claiming it now, okay? We have to get the work, okay? So make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, join the channel. I'm so excited to have you guys here. I'm so excited to bring you guys on along my birthday journey. And yeah, let's get this vlog popping. Make sure to leave a comment, tell me happy birthday. I'm gonna see it whenever I see it. Obviously, my birthday's gonna be over by the time that I post this, but the love will still be there. So I thank you guys in advance. And yeah, let's get this vlog popping. Hello, you guys. So I'm officially back in Atlanta right now, and I'm getting all geared up for the event. We are currently two days out. It's currently Thursday, January the 4th, and the event is on January the 6th on Saturday. And you know, we're at the last stretch and I'm really happy because if y'all ever plan an event, y'all know how tiring this is. Y'all know how tiring every little step is making sure that you have everything in order. So I'm actually right now sitting in front of the venue space because when I first booked it, I actually never toured the venue space because well, a couple reasons. I didn't have the capacity to because I was working, I was in school, and I had toured other places. And with this one, I was so familiar with the place that I was like, oh, okay, like I'm sure it looks just as it does in pictures. And um, the people were really responsive. They had videos up. They were very like communicative. So I pretty much knew that like I was gonna get what I was like asking for or I was gonna get what I asked for but I just wanted to take a final walkthrough today because one I wanted to make sure I was familiar with the location where it is exactly to be able to um, assist my guests in getting here if they can't find it and then two I also want to make sure to uh, see what the actual map out is inside so that I could tell them exactly how I want to decorate it decorated, where my vendors items should be placed in terms of like a bartender um, the DJ I'm a Capricorn y'all I'm very controlling I like things in order so I had to come up here myself and do it okay because although they are taking care of all the decor and everything um, that's what I paid for with the package that I bought I still want to make sure that I'm in charge of light where it's placed you know what I'm saying so I thought it would be necessary to just take this time now that I have have, um, since I have this week off anyways and I just got back uh, to be able to handle the last minute stuff and um, yeah this is like top of my list but this is like one of the last things so I'm happy I get to do this um, the walkthrough is at 12 30 I'm here a bit early it's currently 12 11 so I have some time to kill for a bit but I'm gonna text her and see if she's available because I have to go home to say goodbye to my relatives because they're flying out today for the holidays they were all here for the holidays and I'm, now the last few people my aunt and my sister are flying back home so my house is gonna be quiet again <laughs> if y'all know you know you know when like families in town it just feels so good to have people in town because you know they warm your spirit and now they're leaving and i'm sad so anyways i'm gonna do this walkthrough gonna take y'all with me and then i'm gonna go home say bye to my family and then tomorrow we're gonna do Final steps, um, my dress is ready. Y'all know I dropped it off at the tailor. He got me right. So the dress was actually ready the next day on New Year's Eve because that's how quick he is. But I actually wasn't, um, I was busy that day and I was not in the city. Um, so I just told him I pick it up when I get back. So I'm gonna pick up my dress tomorrow and then I'm going to get my hair done tomorrow, I think. I haven't actually booked my hair appointment and in reality, right, this hairstyle actually looks great and it would be okay like it still looks good y'all see y'all see, see? trying to zoom in for y'all like it still looks good like in reality this hairstyle I'm trying to show y'all this hairstyle would be fine right for the uh dress that i have but i don't know like i don't know so i'm gonna try and see i actually haven't booked my wig appointment yet because i never gave it to the uh hair tech you know what i'm saying to the to the hairstylist um if you know when you book a hairstyle a wig specifically you have to drop it off to the hairstylist about two to three days before so that they can like pluck it tweak it all that but i wasn't in town so i didn't get to do that so i'm texting my hairstylist now to see if i can drop it off today like late at night but she's not really responsive which is really annoying but um it's not a big deal like i have another backup hairstylist that i used to go to back in college and she's pretty good so um i have her on standby so i'm gonna see if i really want to do it so the wig is there i just gotta dye it jet black but once again this hairstyle still looks good and if i do do it for the party it would still look good it's just that after the party i would need to do a hairstyle like i would need one so i just wanted to get the wig installed for like you know to have that for like the next month or so before i switch up my hair again um but yeah i'm chatting now so anyways tomorrow we're gonna do like last beauty maintenance i might get my toes done too because I feel like I want it to look, you know, perfectly done. My nails are already done, obviously, y'all saw. 
let me get that earlier in the vlog so yeah just last minute things i'm so excited y'all i feel like i'm look so good my friends are really excited it's gonna be really intimate really fun it's just gonna be a good vibe so i'm really excited to have this last celebration before we get back to the real world of like school life work or whatever so anyways this was like a five minute clip so i'm gonna talk to y'all a little bit later when i have more to show y'all we're gonna put on this grid wow. with the sign. Okay. And it's gonna be drapery behind it. Yes. With the balloons. Yes. I don't I didn't know if you were doing like a garden thing. I don't know why garden came to my mind. I, I mean so my colors are like la so my dress is like a royal blue. Okay. My colors are lavender, silver, and like a light pink. So, so this is the pink. Oh, that's for the base of the tablecloth. Yeah, that's beautiful. Um we have lavender napkins that we're gonna incorporate. Okay. Um, gold plate chargers okay. and then we're going to put additional plates inside of it to give you like a full table set up. Yeah. I mean incorporate the lanterns kind of on the table. Oh that'll be cute. Put some candles yeah. and some fresh flowers. Keep it clean yeah. but elegant. Yeah for yeah. sure. That sounds um, cool. And then we'll probably maneuver this in one of these corners. Okay. Um, now, do, are you having champagne? Um, I am having, so I'm gonna have a bartender. And okay. I know you said you have a bar. So this is the bar right here. Oh, it's just perfect. No, storage perfect. space right now. That's totally perfect. Um, she could put the bar, the champagne wall behind her okay. to display your champagne oh, or your cute. bottles. Yeah. So I'll okay. probably move her in this corner that's and that's perfect. the photo booth as well. Oh, cute. So we'll have that. Um, okay. Set. And then I'll put the DJ. Do you, where do you think the best place for the DJ would be? Because if I'm we're here, here we, should, we should do your food. How are you doing your food? Um, it's a cater, so I would do the food here. Behind, okay, behind so we'll us. So we put your table kind of like in the in middle of the floor. Okay, put the DJ right there. Perfect. So you can hear the vibes. Okay, and then that way we'll put the photo booth there. Okay, and yeah. then bartenders should still right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, that works out well. Mm -hmm. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. I see um, the vision. Yeah. Let me show you the prep kitchen. Sure. Whole weekend. Oh, Beans. Yeah. oh she, organizing, yeah, yeah. so yeah. nice, yeah. This is the, um, the prep kitchen. Of course, everything will be clean, yeah. But this is the fridge, okay. None of this stuff will really be there, but uh -huh. the appliances, but it'll be cleaned off. She can prep, put things in there, you can use this sink as well, okay. And then the bathroom is to the left, okay. Um, we'll have all the toiletries and everything together, okay. Like I said, nothing is in order today, no problem, no problem. I just need to see like a good place out there, yeah. yeah. Home place a question for yeah, you. Yeah. Do you think that you could make, do you have, if you don't, it's totally fine. Okay. Do you have um, like like nude tablecloths? If you don't, it's okay. Cause the pink will work and then we could do the, like incorporate the nudes. Because I think because my dress is like- the Royal blue. blue? Yeah, I wanted, I wanted like everyone else to be, cause the dress code I is do. also- or, Let me talk to my assistant. Cause okay. I know we already prepped it. Okay. However, if that's not bad, we gotta wash it and all that stuff, yes. Okay. But if you see it, that means we could do it. If okay. not, it'll be that. Okay, yeah. But that's noted. Okay. When you leave and I kinda get things more organized, I'll ask her. Okay. Um Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cause just because I wanted <clears throat> everyone is wearing nude brown, the theme is supposed to, yeah. So I wanted to pop out essentially because it's my band. And then I want everything else to be kind of like more neutral, but like I wanted to pop a color too. So that was like the idea behind it. I'm trying to add. Okay. I don't know what I should put the camera. Yeah. Okay. New cream, ivory, tan, yeah. something new. Yeah, new yeah, neutral. So that like, like everything else can like pop. You know, I got you. That'd be perfect. But you're still okay with the lavender now? Yeah, that, lavender would be beautiful. And then also with like the decor. If you want to add like colored, I don't know, I know you said fresh flowers. We could do we could do pink flowers oh, yeah. and maybe pink candles. Yeah. That'd be okay. beautiful. Just like accents of color, but for the most part, I'd like it to be neutral, like okay. for, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Could you text me that? Of course. I'll Please. Remember. Yeah, for sure. And then when I get my head on a swivel, sure. I'll I know you got a lot follow up with her. Yeah. It has come a long yeah, way. It it but, like, yeah. um, yes, ma'am. Text me that. Yeah. I'll reach out to her. Okay. And we'll make it. Okay, I'm really excited. I'm I just wanted to see too. it because you know I, I know I booked it and I, I was confident. I just wanted to park here and like see. Yeah, and it is a parking lot. Um, yeah. So it is a bomb shop next door. Yeah. Of course you have me on Saturday, so yeah. it'll be a little people. Bit. Yeah. But it's free and then it's in the back parking oh, so too. Parking. Okay. I'll so I'll you're notice. more than fine. Okay. Um, your event starts at what time? Twelve. Ends at four. Your caterer can get here at eleven. Yeah, I told him already. 
so she can. But I have linen on the table, Perfect. and the table I already set up, so she okay. can come do yeah. whatever she she's needs. She's bringing to do. all like the stuff, so you don't have to have like. I think she. I got it. I know she's bringing like the setups, like the actual setup. Okay, cool. Gonna so bring. she just needs the linen and the setup. Literally, yeah. Okay. And then, yeah, yeah. No worries yeah. at all. Just make it your life easier. <laughs> yes, thank you. Yeah. Well, I appreciate it. I nah, so I thank you for your help. I'll text you the um, details. And I'll follow up with my sister, but we'll make that happen. Okay. Between tan, cream, or white. Yeah, just a little neutral. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. And then the pop will be the flowers and the lavender napkins. Mm -hmm. And then like the candles or yeah. however you decide to do. Okay. I trust you. Okay. Thank you so much. No, thank you. I'll see you soon. Thank you. This is your reminder to take charge of your event if you're having it. Do not be scared to speak up because y'all are paying these people and typically they want to accommodate you anyway. So don't be scared to speak up. Take charge of your events. This was a great little 15 minute um, stop by. 10 minutes, really. I got here. You know what I'm saying? I've been sitting in the car, but like it was a 10 minute conversation. Got everything organized. I'm going to text her when I get home So because I know she's busy. So, ooh, about to get home, see my people, and have a great rest of my day. So I'm so excited, y'all. It's going to be such a good event. I'm so excited. See y'all later. <laughs> good morning, you guys. Um, I feel like all my vlogs start in the car now, but I'm headed to get my hair done because I was telling y'all yesterday how like that hairstyle was not gonna last for the dinner, uh, or for the brunch. So I'm gonna get a wig installed. Uh, my girl just been doing my hair for like I don't know over a year now, like probably six, seven um, hairstyles down. So I know she's gonna eat. So I'm excited. Um, so yeah, I'll check with you guys later because my battery is actually dying. So mwah, chat later. All right, y'all. <laughs> so I just got my hair done, but my girl, of course, she bodied. Um, it looks so good. Y'all see the layers? So good. I'm gonna add more layers to it, and I'm gonna pluck the lace a little bit, but I just, you know, had to get right. I'm about to go pick up my dress for my tailor. I'm so excited, y'all. It's getting closer to time. I'm so excited, I can't wait. So yeah, let's go see what that dress looks like. So perfect, you guys. It's so perfect. I'm so happy. Thank you so much. Wow. It's nice my waist perfectly. You're really a magician. Yeah. Yeah. You're really a magician. I get a nice heap and it come yeah. out. Yeah. It's so pretty. Wow. I feel like a ballerina, like a princess. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. I love it. It's perfect. I got my dress, you guys. I'm so excited. It's so pretty and it fits me so well. So now. I gotta go run last minute errands, y'all. I gotta print out some stuff. I gotta grocery shopping low key. I gotta Target low key, get some last minute things. I don't know what they told y'all, but planning an event is not, planning an event is not fun until it's over. Well, until it's time for it. And it's not time for it yet. So I'm still going through all of the struggles, but it's all gonna be worth it tomorrow. So let's go finish these errands, child. Ciao for now. I'm so excited, y'all. I'm about to get my makeup done by the one and only. She's done my makeup like two times prior to this, and my hair is a mess because I'm trying to save the curls. So, anyways, I'm so excited. This is my before. Y'all watch out for the after. Makeup artist had booked for my birthday last year. Mm -hmm. She was like good, right? She was right. really heavy handed. Oh. And I think there's like, there's just, it just made me appreciate the beauty behind like a nice, like soft, like neutral glam. <laughs> so I just remember I got home and like I looked good because mm -hmm. I'm not ugly, right? No, you're not ugly. <laughs> <laughs> but it just looked very heavy. And mm -hmm. I remember my contour was so like, yeah, it was just like so structured and I had to like, I had to do a lot of blending and reconstructing, but she oh, wasn't bad. She, yeah. just, she just wasn't you. And so I was like, I don't, I don't want to have to yeah. look. My, my boyfriend, bless his heart. He's like, um, you know how there's this like stigma against birthday makeup? Yeah. I feel like last year, like, okay, so what happened was it's like, okay, my brother's wedding was like a couple days before my birthday. Oh, okay. And so I remember he complimented me so much because he just loved that makeup. He was like, this is how you should get your makeup done every time. Like, mm -hmm. you just look so beautiful. Mm -hmm. 
blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. And then I got my makeup done for my birthday and I heard nothing. Like, it was crickets. Like, he never oh. complimented, like, how pretty. Like, he just never oh, said anything. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> And I was like, I was like, if I look bad, I mean, don't tell me because yeah, it's gonna yeah, hurt yeah, my yeah. feelings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, but I was like, I must look terrible because oh. never once did he say like, "Wow, you look so beautiful." Like mm -hmm. he just, wow. So yeah, I just yeah. Wow. Because men are very men 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 are very strategic with how they compliment you. But I just remember yes. how much he raved about that the makeup for them from the wedding, mm -hmm. and then just two days later to not say anything about makeup. I was like, okay, maybe I just maybe you don't like this one, and I I could understand. Mm -hmm. But I know he's gonna compliment me today. I already know that. I feel like <laughs> yes. Mm. So pretty. Yes, yes. Please continue. Don't mind me. <laughs> I'm being fanned right now, y'all. <laughs> you look perfect. So stunning. Right. I want to scream. It's so delicious. Oh. Hi, you guys. So. As y'all can see, my energy's a little bit shifted because if you've ever had events, y'all know how it is the day of. There's always all these, you know, things going on and people calling out, people's, people are sick, people this, people that, and it's life. You're not mad at the people at all. You're just like a little disappointed at the fact that they won't be there on the, the day that you want to celebrate with them, right? And you know how much their energy means to like your space so my energy is a little bit low now but i'm praying that like once i get there like my people surround me you know like i'm a little sad right now because i really wanted to make this a really intimate event versus like open to the public like i wouldn't just be like okay 50, 20 good 20 good people right and they're plus ones so maybe like 15 of my close friends and like five of their plus ones and it's just having a good time good vibes you know because i'm not gonna have an event like this again in the future really anytime soon i'm just gonna travel so it just hurts my heart that like things happen last minute and i can't see these people because in reality like other than birthdays and you know big celebrations you don't really get to see your community for real um, unless it's planned and it's difficult when everyone has life going on so my heart is a little bit sad right now but i'm still gonna get dressed still gonna go in with high spirits um you know just expecting to still have a good time i am yeah, I'm just going to show up an hour late because everyone's going to be late at this point and it is what it is. So the bartender isn't even on time and I'm just like, girl, like you were the one supposed to be there first to like for drinks. I don't get it. So I just need to relax a little bit. You know, it'll be just three hours of like cool vibes. Um, shout out to my friends who have like, you know, put, try to put me in better spirits. Shout out to my man for all his work and efforts into making this a good event. Um, so I'm really grateful regardless. I'm just a little bit sad because like 
I just, I wanted this to be like, just like a really good moment, you know? But I, that doesn't mean it won't be. I'm just right now, I'm just a little bit sad because it just feels like, you know, maybe like life is happening for everyone now. Before, maybe everybody was still lit, everybody was still available to Raba. Now people have kids, people have jobs, people have real life responsibilities, and it's just not the same. So maybe this is a good way to go out with a bang. Um, but I just wanted to be candid with you guys and, you know, let y'all know that although this whole vlog has been high energy and me excited, right now, my event starts technically now in like four minutes. I'm not in the highest of spirits. But I'm going to put my dress on. I'm going to get in my Uber. I'm going to get there. I'm going to have fun with my people. And then I'm going to go about my year because this is going to be an amazing year. I'm super excited to be 27. I thank God for life. I thank God for the opportunity to reinvent myself to continue to push out the things that are on my to-do list to continue to grow continue to gain knowledge and continue to be um a great friend to the people around me so yeah i will check in with you guys once i get dressed i'm gonna give you a little bit of a sneak peek of the whole outfit together i love my makeup she did such a good job um my hair is really curly right now i wish it was a the curls were a little looser but i prefer to be like this and way too loose so i'm really appreciative of how it looks so far i feel like a model i I've, i feel like i look very beautiful and i think my boyfriend would agree so i'm excited to see him when i get there but yeah i'm gonna change my heart change my energy a bit and we're gonna have a good event but right now i'm just a little bit sad and that's okay because that's life so yeah i'll tune back in when i'm ready to go and we'll chit chat about it so ciao for now okay you guys i'm all dressed i'm all ready i feel a little bit better because it's just gonna be a really wholesome event like i don't know i don't i don't i don't know y'all we gonna see ciao but let's go have a good time I feel beautiful. My friend is on the way right now to pick me up. I was going to Uber, but we're just going to ride together. And she's going to pick me up. So, yeah, on the way. See y'all soon. See y'all there. Hold on, does everybody have a shot glass? Wait, yeah, does everybody have one that, that wants one? I don't want anybody to take anything that they Blaine don't got one. He don't have a Blaine, put yours down. Does anybody have one? Yes. Yes, everyone in the back. Everybody in the back. Does everybody have a shot glass? Okay. Yes. 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 Everyone under the sound of my voice. Mm. Okay. Amen. Yeah. No prophetic with it. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Okay, so... We are here to celebrate the beautiful life of my beautiful sister. Yeah. Listen, she brings us together every year, y'all. Sure. Sure. Every year. It's a lot of familiar faces up in here. We appreciate that every year. Now, what we need to do in between time and the meantime is, you know what I mean, like still stay connected in between. And I hope we're doing that. Um, but no, seriously, y'all. Thank you for showing up for my sister. She puts in a lot of effort into all of her friendships, all of her, her uh, sisterhoods, her brotherhoods, her siblinghoods, everything she got. She puts everything in it. I've seen her on the back end, on the front end. She works hard, like literally everything that this girl says she's gonna do, she do it. I don't know how she do it, but guess what? When you got God on your side, you do it. You know what I'm saying? Oh my gosh, what a year it's been for you. We are so proud of you. I think I speak for everybody when I say that. Yeah. You've done an amazing job this year through everything. 
an amazing job. And look at you, you're standing here looking beautiful. I cannot wait to see what this year has for you. I pray that this 27th year around the sun just brings you blessings and pure joy, laughter with people that you love. Yes, more memories. Don't cry, girl. No, because we have to win that. No, okay, let me wrap this shit up. Um, <laughs> I don't cry much, but I cry a um, bunch. No, but seriously, thank you all for showing out for my sister. She shows out for y'all, and I know that y'all feel that, so thank you for allowing her to feel the same love that she gives y'all. Amen. Put your shot glasses up. Woo! Take it to the fucking head. Okay. To Danny. To Danny. To Danny. All three weeks say Danny.